unpredictability strikes again. The new launch date for Flight 5 was recently leaked, but it appears the FAA may have denied it. Is this true or just a result of slow updates from the FAA? And after months of delays, ULA is preparing for the launch of its second Vulcan rocket, an incredibly important mission for the company's future. Meanwhile, a crucial Falcon 9 mission is moving ahead, but still awaits FAA approval to proceed. With so much breaking news, let's dive into the details on today's episode of Great SpaceX. The launch date for Flight 5 has become a hot topic of controversy recently. With the FAA's previous decision, it seemed we'd have to wait nearly two months for the flight. However, a surprising new revelation just emerged, suggesting an earlier launch date. Specifically, a hazardous space operations notice for the Gulf of Mexico indicates that rocket launch operations are scheduled near Boca Chica, Texas. The primary date is October 12th of 2024, with backup dates listed for October 13th, 18th, and the 19th from 7 a.m. to 8.10 a.m., and October 14th through the 17th from 7 a.m. to 8.40 a.m. This suggests a potential launch window spanning about a week, with October 12th as the primary target. Such notices are usually reliable since agencies rarely issue false alerts for sea operations. Previous Starship missions have had similar announcements ahead of flights. If true, this would be an exciting development, especially since preparations for Flight 5 are nearly complete. The OLM and tower systems have been upgraded and tested. Both rocket stages have finished their upgrades and integration testing is done. Should the dates hold, SpaceX could begin the wet dress rehearsal and final system installations in time. However, it's important to note that these launch dates are not yet published by the FAA. Without FAA approval, the anticipated launch is still uncertain. A source recently indicated that the FAA would stick to its November 9th decision timeline. The FAA's statement reads, SpaceX's current license, which authorized the Starship Flight 4 launch, also allows for multiple flights of the same vehicle configuration and mission profile. However, SpaceX's proposed modifications for Flight 5 triggered a more in-depth review. Additionally, in mid-August, SpaceX submitted new information regarding the environmental impact of Flight 5, which covers a larger area than previously reviewed. This requires the FAA to consult with other agencies. SpaceX must meet all safety, environmental, and licensing requirements before the FAA can authorize Starship's next launch. The FAA has stated a final license determination for Starship Flight 5 is not expected before late November of 2024. This news has dashed many hopes, leaving everyone disappointed once again. Despite growing criticism, the FAA has shown no signs of speeding up its processes. However, there are two potential but unlikely scenarios to consider. First, the recent revelation is not an official FAA announcement. It's possible the agency hasn't yet updated its public information. The FAA, known for its slow response times, could issue a new update soon. Second, there's a chance SpaceX has agreed to proceed with the same mission profile as the previous flight. The FAA has previously indicated that they would approve a launch if SpaceX stuck to the original launch plan. Still, after all of SpaceX's recent preparations, it seems unlikely they would give up on their ambitious goal of attempting to catch Super Heavy with the Mechazilla arm. While these are optimistic scenarios, it's more realistic to expect a launch delay until November. What do you think of the new potential launch date and the FAA's response? Do you believe Starship can launch sooner than expected? Reply yes or no in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's progress. While Starship's launch date remains uncertain, the United Launch Alliance is gearing up for a crucial milestone with the Vulcan rocket, which is now close to its second flight. After a successful debut, the Vulcan rocket encountered multiple delays that lasted months, stemming from various technical issues. These delays put ULA under significant pressure, but with a launch window set for 6 a.m. EDT on October 4th, the company has shown strong determination and readiness through meticulous preparation. On September 21st, ULA successfully full-stacked the Vulcan rocket, followed by rolling it out to the SLC-41 launch pad on September 30th. Afterward, ULA conducted the Wet Dress Rehearsal, or WDR, test, a critical step in final launch preparations, concluding with the detanking process late that night. 
ULA CEO Tori Bruno confirmed the positive results, stating, Detanking just about done. A good day of WDR. He later shared a video of the process. The company also emphasized that its team is reviewing all data to ensure Vulcan is certified and ready to fly. ULA even posted an official tweet confirming the launch time and upcoming timelines. This second flight is particularly significant for ULA as it launches an inert payload, part of an effort to obtain launch certification needed to carry military and government payloads under the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 contract. Vulcan's success in this mission is vital for ULA's future development, especially as the company retires older rockets such as Atlas and Delta, which have been the backbone of ULA's operations for years. However, Vulcan's extended delays have already backlogged several key missions, including USSF-106 and USSF-87, both scheduled for 2024, and more missions awaiting over the next two years. ULA's ability to fulfill these obligations is now in question. The delays have caused significant setbacks, including a scheduling conflict earlier this year with Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, which was initially planned for April, now postponed to October. This rescheduling earned ULA penalties from the Pentagon, further straining the company's standing within the government's launch plans. The stakes for ULA are high. The company has over 20 missions under the NSSL Phase 2 contract in the coming years, but its ability to complete them is uncertain, casting doubt on ULA's dominance in the market. Once the dominant player, ULA now finds itself trailing SpaceX, whose agile fleet of rockets has been more successful at meeting growing demands. Originally, ULA held 60% of Phase 2 launches compared to SpaceX's 40, but after multiple delays and the increase in missions, the ratio has shifted to 54 to 46, with SpaceX closing the gap. Phase 3 of the NSSL contract has now begun, with ULA still selected as one of the contractors. However, its competition will be fierce, not only from SpaceX, but also from newcomer Blue Origin. If ULA continues to struggle, SpaceX is poised to overtake it in mission completion rate, potentially cementing its lead in the space launch industry. ULA's internal struggles have also been exacerbated by financial difficulties, leading to rumors of a potential sale. The most recent speculation points to Sierra Space as a potential buyer, a move that could further complicate Vulcan's future if ULA is acquired. These challenges only add to the pressure surrounding the Vulcan rocket's upcoming flight. With so much riding on the success of this mission, failure is simply not an option for ULA. This launch could either open a new chapter of success for the company or mark the end of its dominance in the space launch sector. All eyes will be on Vulcan as ULA aims to prove its capability and stay competitive in a rapidly evolving industry. Let's see if ULA can rise to the occasion and secure its place in the future of space exploration. Now turning back to SpaceX, let's discuss the preparations for the upcoming Falcon 9 mission. Recently, the European Space Agency, or ESA, revealed they are gearing up for the October 7th launch where the Hera spacecraft along with two CubeSats will be encapsulated inside the fairings of a Falcon 9 rocket. The spacecraft has already been fueled with propellant and is set for the important mission. The mission's primary goal is to study the impact crater left by NASA's DART mission, which intentionally collided with the asteroid Dimorphos in 2022, slowing its orbit around the larger asteroid Didymos. The findings will help scientists understand how to defend Earth from potentially dangerous asteroid strikes in the future. If all goes according to plan, the Hera spacecraft will reach the asteroid in 2026, which it will then begin a six-month-long mission to observe the crater and gather crucial data. The development of Hera faced numerous challenges, including ESA's strategic approach, securing investments, and delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite these setbacks, the team is determined to complete the mission, which could significantly contribute to planetary defense research. In terms of launch vehicles, ESA initially planned to use the Soyuz rocket then switched to Ariane 6. However, due to delays with Ariane 6, ESA ultimately chose SpaceX's Falcon 9 in 2022. These changes mirror the shift seen with the Galileo satellite system and further highlight SpaceX's growing dominance over its European competitors. However, the launch schedule is now uncertain due to temporary halts in SpaceX's operations after issues with the Crew-9 mission. Additionally, the FAA has requested a mishap investigation, making Falcon 9's 
Return to service unpredictable. The FAA's delays are impacting not just SpaceX, but also organizations like ESA, wasting valuable time, money, and effort. Reform seems necessary. If you agree, comment reform now below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.